Hey everybody, it's Aaron. Today we're going to be talking about the open source application known as ZScreen. The purpose of ZScreen, it's really a screen capture utility, um, obviously much better than the built-in Windows application. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and launch Google. We're going to type in ZScreen. And the URL is not very easy to remember. It's brandonz.net forward slash projects forward slash ZScreen forward slash index.html. Just go ahead and type it in Google, pull it up. Um, it'll bring you to the brandonz.net website. Down here under Z Screen Downloads, click on whatever version is available. As you can see, this is an open source SourceForge project. This will launch you to the site. Go ahead and click Save File, save the application, install it. Follow all the necessary steps to get that installed to your desktop. What's going to happen? The way I run Z Screen is I actually don't run it all the time. You'll notice Z Screen's running right down here in the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to go ahead and launch my launchy and I'm going to type in Z screen. This is typically how I run it. I don't need to take screenshots all the time but it's nice to have something available. If you right click on Z screen you're going to see all sorts of settings but let me show you how it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up full screen windows a, a Firefox window. If you're just to hit print screen, print screen is going to take a picture of the entire screen. If you do an alt print screen it's going to take a picture of just the active window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this window a little bit smaller. Or I'm going to close it. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little bit smaller window. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an Alt and Print screen. Now the Z screen is actually going to flash for a second. You're going to notice it's now yellow. If we go ahead and we'll click on this, it's going to launch us into the, green screen, into the Z screen application. I'm going to go into Screenshots. The screenshot I just took is now going to be listed here. I can copy it to the clipboard if I want to put it into one of my favorite applications. But the really cool part of this is if I double click this, this is going to launch me into um, Google. It's actually, as you, if you notice, it's going to t upload it automatically to Image Shack. And now I have an actual URL that I can send to anybody. I don't have to log into anything. I don't have to do anything at all to get this so that I can send it out to somebody. So if I was to copy and paste this, I could shoot it out to them very easy. Another cool part of this, so that was with the um, alt and print screen, it's going to take it of just the active window. Let's just say there's just a single part. Let's say this little weather box I wanted to be able to show somebody. If I hold down control and hit print screen, it's going to give me this little arrow. And what I can do is click and hold down, and as you notice, it's going to drag a little box. I'm going to release that. I'm going to go down to my Z screen. I'm going to double click. I'm going to have a second option in here now, or a second image. I'm going to double click that. Again, it's going to launch me into my Google, into my Firefox, and you'll notice just that portion is there. This saves from having to take a screen print, um, from taking the screen print, putting it into Word, cropping it out, putting it into Photoshop, cropping it out. Really, it just saves a lot of time. Now what I want to do is I'm going to show you some um, of the functionality of this application. You'll notice that you can have a destination. You can have it go straight to your clipboard. If you want it to go straight to a file, if you'd like to FTP it to a site or Image Shack. Um, let's show you what it does if I take it to file. Here's your hotkey settings. You'll notice Alt and Print Screen does the active window. Control Print Screen does the uh, crop shot or you can do the entire screen. If you've got FTP settings, you can set them up here. Very easy. I actually played around having an FTP to the site. If you wanted to launch a specific program, for example, you'll notice I have GIMP here, which is actually a very, very good open source editor. You can add whatever program you want to launch. Your file settings, you can delete it after it's sent. You can give it a specific file name if you want it to be the title of the active window. You can really set up a whole bunch of different options on this. Of course, all your screenshots will be listed here. And most of these advanced items I didn't really adjust. I didn't really need to adjust the cache size or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens if I have this set to a file. You'll notice now I've got this going to GIMP. So I'm going to go ahead and update that. I'm going to close the window out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing as I'm going to do a control print screen. And I'm going to grab just a portion of my screen. And as you're going to notice, GIMP is going to automatically launch. Okay. Now as you, see, as you can see, this launched us directly into GIMP. And then what we actually did, it looks like I'd taken two screen dots. Um, so I've got a full screen. And I've also got the smaller screen, so here's my full screen. And then here's when I did the control. So you'll notice now that I'm in GIMP, I can modify the application any way I want. Save it, save it really as any format. Um, it's kind of nice. The default saving format is a PNG, which is obviously a much better compressed version than a bitmap. 
Um, it does automatically upload it to Image Shack without creating an account, which I thought was kind of nice. It's really nice to be able to share a screenshot of your active screen or a portion of your screen without having to go through all the hassles of cropping it and then uploading it, so on and so forth. Um, I definitely recommend you check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks.